Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome to a new video. Welcome to my channel. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Kevin Pack. I'm a multiple six-figure Amazon seller. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to make your first sale on Amazon. This is a very special moment. I know it was a very special moment for myself. And getting that first sale, just a sign that this works. This is the start of your journey. And I wanna teach you guys how you can start making your first sale. What we'll talk about is two things. Number one is preparing your product to start making sales. And number two is launching your product to start making sales. Making one sale might not be much, but it is a start. And the start of one sale on my business has led me to make a six figure business doing half a million dollars per year. And you can see that's my account right now. And if we do a full refresh, done over half a million dollars in the last 12 months. That all started with one sale that led into another sale, another sale, and another sale. So be sure that you are very, very ready and also motivated to make that first sale because that's where we all start. Now be sure to like this video for the pup and for the YouTube algorithm, right? Oh my God, he's like 45 pounds right now. I just recently weighed him. Oh, I'm putting you down. Ooh. Also, if you guys wanna learn how to do Amazon FBA and learn directly from me and get a lot more help than just what you're getting from YouTube, feel free to check out my website down below for my mentorship and course program. It's basically laid out step-by-step step exactly everything I've done from start to finish. So if you guys are interested and you wanna learn from me directly, go ahead and check that below. Now let's get to the video. So one of the first things you guys need to do is make sure that your listing is fully optimized. And what does that mean? Well, first off, your Amazon listing is what people are gonna see when they go search for your product on Amazon and you need to make sure that your pictures are on point, that it's click-baitable, like just like YouTube, click-baitable. It makes people wanna click it and get interested in it. So I suggest using up all the white space in your main images. Make sure that you're adding a little bit of like 3D design if you can, just to really make it pop out a little bit more. Uh, I know that's kind of against terms of service, but if you add a little bit, it's just fine. It's not gonna be a big deal. It's just a quick way to uh, gain the attention of customers. The next thing is making sure that you have fantastic photos after your main image that really talk about the features and the benefits of the product um, and that really talk to the customer. And then when you finish up all your photos, you wanna make sure that you have a great bullet point listing and have a great title as well. We wanna make sure that your title says exactly what the product is and then also some more fluff afterwards, some other important keywords afterwards. And then your bullet points are talking about the benefits of the product and not just the features. I don't wanna know about, you know, it's stainless steel material and it's like the highest quality or whatever. No, we don't wanna hear that. We wanna hear about how is this product gonna change my life? How is it gonna improve my life? Uh, and how am I gonna be happier using it? Or how is it gonna help me? So those are some major points that you wanna hit. Uh, the next thing is if you can get EBC content, A plus content onto your listing, that'd be fantastic. I suggest you guys also price your product below your competitors. I usually go off of the average price of the market and go a little bit lower below that. Or you can just simply start at your break even price as that, like that's the easiest way to start off as well. Pro tip is add a 5% off coupon because we all love some discounts on our products. So after you've optimized your listing and got amazing photos, you've got a great title, bullet points, and you have EBC content and you have your coupon on there, then you might be ready to launch by now. Now the EBC content part isn't mandatory just because you need to be brand registered, but if you could at least have a great photo, great bullet points, uh, and a great price set and a coupon, I think you'll be fine from there. Additionally, you could also get reviews. Uh, if you have just a couple five-star reviews, that's perfect. You don't need to have like 50 or 100 off the jump. If you don't wanna have any and you just wanna use the early reviewer program to get reviews as time goes on, you could start launching with just zero reviews. That's fine as well. But if you have a couple, that would be very, very helpful. So really make sure your listing is top tier and better than your competitors and the best that it possibly can. That way, people are attracted to your product and are willing to click and convert. Remember that people can't actually feel or touch your product, so they are relying on photos and your listing to really sell them, basically, right? 
Now moving on to the next part, once you've completed the listing part, we want to make sure that you're getting ready to launch your product and launching it properly. Now what are the best ways to start making your sales from your launch, right? The easiest way is just simply open up an automatic campaign. The automatic campaign is where Amazon does all the research for you and they find customers for you. So this campaign, this advertising campaign will put your product in front of keywords that Amazon thinks will be relevant or will convert well, right? So if you're selling coffee mugs, then it'll put you in front of the word coffee mug or coffee mug for dads or coffee mugs for moms or something like that. They'll put you in front of whatever they think is most relevant and hope that you convert. It's simply by itself, that could help you just get your first sale because Amazon does it for you, very easy. You can set the daily bid just above the suggested bid. If it's saying 75 cents, just put like a dollar or something like that per click, that's a great place to just start, right? Additionally to this, run other manual campaigns. This is where you're specifically targeting keywords. You wanna target anything in exact, broad, or phrase. Any of those will work just fine, but you have to know what your keywords are. And I suggest you get those from your competitors using a reverse ASIN or whatnot, right? But if you wanna make your first sale, you need to make sure you're running PPC, your Amazon PPC. It's not really suggested that you're gonna use like Google ads or Facebook ads or influencer marketing or anything like that. It's not necessary. All you really need to make your first sale is Amazon's PPC platform. Now you can't just list up your product and expect it to start selling. People actually have to go and see your product. They have to be able to see it to convert and click it and buy it. So you make sure that you can do that by using Amazon's PPC platform to pay yourself to be shown in front of customers, in front of the first page for keywords, and that's how people buy your product, and that's how you make your first sale and scale up from there. Now, there are cases where if you have just an amazing product, you just put it up and it just starts making sales out of nowhere. I've heard of rare instances like that. It is possible, but don't count on your product to do that. Make sure that you have a good strategy to make sure that you're guaranteeing that you're gonna make your first sale at least. So that's how you do it. That's how you create your first sale. You optimize your listing perfectly and you use Amazon's PPC platform to launch your product. No Facebook ads or influencer marketing necessary. Just good old Amazon. Now I do go in depth on how to optimize your listing properly and also legit launching strategies that you can use to get your product up. So I talk about exactly how to create broad uh, campaigns, manual campaigns, um, and I tell you how to optimize these campaigns so you can start making more money and spend less money on ads as well, right? So that's gonna be the, the key to all of this. And I do teach all of this in my course mentorship program, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. Again, link in the description, and you'll learn everything that I've done and how I've helped a lot of students do this, all right? so. That is gonna be this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, go make that money, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.